Congressman Paul Ryan's bold budget-cutting proposals have impressed Republicans but haven't passed Congress. And now his new anti-poverty plan doesn't cut a dime. Our John Harwood asked him why and whether Congress will get anything done in the next two years. I didn't want to get into a debate about proper funding levels of the status quo because we would spend all this time talking about budget numbers. I wanted to start a debate about how to reform the status quo. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is these reforms could occur at any spending level. You can decide later on. But two objections that I've heard. One, I talked to Hillary Clinton last week. She said this is not a good idea because if governors won't take federal money, free money, to expand Medicaid, they can't be trusted to protect these programs, A. And B, that you eliminate the automatic stabilizer function of these programs that allows them to expand when the economy is worse. Yeah, so I'll take the last one first. Uh, um, the baseline of funding uh, changes per the economy, and I would anticipate doing the same thing here uh, with what you call automatic stabilizers. The first point, though, I just disagree with. Um, this isn't free money. Um, states are getting put on the hook w with Obamacare, and then the federal government ratchets down its matching rate. So it is an unfunded mandate at the end of the day. But more importantly, it's sort of an apples to oranges comparison. Um, it's, it's not the same thing for a governor to say, I don't want to take this top-down, heavy-handed approach from Washington of a government health care system. There's nothing inconsistent with the governor saying no to that and then saying yes to, I want more flexibility for how to customize um, benefits to get people from welfare to work. So I just don't see that as an accurate comparison. Isn't the actual reason that you haven't passed in the House freestanding entitlement reform that even though you're willing to do it, your colleagues are not? No, I don't think that's it. I think we know that the Senate won't act on these things, and we're trying to pass a lot of bills that we think have a chance, a reasonable chance of passing into law to make a difference in people's lives. I think if we had willing partners on the other side of the aisle, if we had a president who was actually willing to tackle our tough fiscal issues, our members in the House would be more than willing to, to participate in that. But it's been abundantly clear to us uh, that the Senate and the White House is not interested in tackling the really big problems facing our country fiscally. Uh, if the Republicans take the Senate in midterms this fall, what changes in the next two years? Anything? I think if we were to attain the Senate, we would actually have the ability of passing legislation all the way through Congress, not just half the way through Congress, and, and giving the president the opportunity to make a decision whether or not to support the legislation. But shouldn't the message for the conclusion that average Americans should draw is that there's really nothing that's going to happen until we have a new president, whether it's one uh, party I, or the other. I hate to think like that. Uh, unfortunately, I think there's some merit to that criticism. Let's bring John Harwood into the conversation now. John, um, a couple of things. First of all, did he comment at all on tax inversions, where U.S. corporations have been increasingly locating overseas to get the lower tax rate? He did, Sue, but he said that that could only happen in the context of comprehensive tax reform. It wouldn't be effective if you try to do it as a single rifle shot proposal. And he said the broader tax reform is also one of those big issues that can't get dealt with by Congress until we have a new president. Mm -hmm. John, do I understand correctly that uh, Congressman Ryan is going to move from the chairmanship of the Budget Committee to the chairmanship of Ways and Means, which is the principal tax writing committee? Does that mean that his focus in the uh, next Congress is going to be on tax reform? Appears that way. Uh, Paul Ryan is considering and told me he's keeping his options open about potentially running for president, but he is in line to become Ways and Means chair. And if I asked, uh, when I asked him whether he'd rather do that job than run for president, he said, I like the path I'm on in the House, so I think he is going to stay there, focus on tax reform and entitlement reform, and we'll see whether he can get anything done. You know, we're coming up on that August recess, John, and there's some pending legislation that we mentioned earlier, the immigration reform, et cetera. Where do the House and the Senate stand in terms of taking the recess or not? They are going to take the recess. The House is going to be in tomorrow. The Senate plans to finish its votes tonight. They'll pass the VA bill, pass the House version of the highway bill. Looks like nothing will happen on the border crisis. Thanks, John. As always, John Harwood in Washington.